There was an old woman all skin and bones. She lived down by the old graveyard. One night. Hello there, folks, and welcome to Cargo Proud Adventures' very first holiday do it yourself project. Today, we're gonna turn your regular Tide Pod container into a little neat Halloween jack-o'-lantern, little treat, just a little, it could be a, a treat holder. I'm gonna put lights in it and make it a decoration. You guys just do whatever you want after you make your own. Anyway, you start with just your Tide Pod container. I don't know if you guys use Tide Pods. I know they became kind of a joke with the kids eating them, the teenagers eating them, but we love these things. They're easy to do the laundry with. And they do a good job and your clothes smell great. So I am a fan of Tide Pods. I'm always throwing these in the recycling bin. I'm like, man, there's gotta be something we can do with these. So I dove around online and I found this neat little thing and I tried it and it, it's neat, I like it. Well, I haven't painted one yet. That's what we're getting ready to do. So anyway, you get your goo gone. I know a lot of you guys use goo gone for your own projects, but what you do first, instead of just putting it on the label, I soaked it overnight in Dawn. In the sink over there, I soaked these overnight, put a little goo gone on it, came right off. I take the cap, and if you wanna paint it black, I had some green spray paint, so I went ahead and did green on mine. And spray paint it, if you can see there, I got the, the top green, all the labels off. And now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna paint a little jack-o'-lantern face on it. You see my tablecloth here. I don't know how well you can see it from the way the camera's set up, but I have a whole jack-o'-lantern tablecloth set up to do this on because I'm great at preparing. Anyhow, I'm not. Another thing, I'm not crafty at all. And I thought that'd be some of the humor of this is me bringing you a, a crafty video by a guy that's not so crafty. Just gonna try to make you guys smile, have a good time, and we're gonna do a little craft. All right, let's get at it. I'm gonna start with just a regular fine point Sharpie, but then I'm gonna move on to the paint pen. I guess I should have told you guys some of the supplies you were gonna need, like a Tide Pod container, obviously, a paint pen, a Sharpie, and then I picked up this little light thing at Walmart for $2.98. Or if you prefer, you can get this dollar one at Dollar General. I mean, it's a cheap, easy, to, the most simple things is the Tide Pod, but you can use that for what you wanna do it with, so, which is wash clothes. Anyway, let's try this. Let's go ahead and do us a jack-o'-lantern. I think I'm gonna go with the traditional, well, for us, traditional. We're gonna just go ahead and do the, the triangle eyes. Let's make a big, just great big triangle eyes. Well, I guess great big, big. We'll go with big. What, what kind of, let's do a triangle nose too. Let's just go straight, easy. I think I always did triangle noses, triangle eyes with my jack lanterns as a kid because they were so much easier once you began cutting them out. So pretty sure that's why my family did that because nobody wanted to stay all night out with mosquitoes, right? Man, this is, very, very elementary, but I like it. So, so far with the Sharpie, I've just got a little face on here. Now, these paint pens, they sell them at Lowe's, Walmart. They're like two or three bucks. They're, they're cheap as well. So, I mean, this is really a cheap project. You just outline it with the Sharpie and then take your paint pen and really get your marks in that you want to really see done. I'm sure some of you are way more artistic or most of you, all of you are more artistic to me. So you guys are gonna come up with some really neat patterns. I'm hoping once you, you make them, you share them with me. So I can check your work out too and, and see what kind of stuff you guys came out with. You know, those Tide Pods, they come in different sizes too. This, I mean, you see the two different sizes here. There's a bigger one that's a little oblong and there's a smaller one than this one even. You can make different size jack-o'-lanterns and kind of light them up, set them up on your mantle or, or different spots of your house to to really bring out the holiday season.
for cheap. That's what I love about this is the price, cost efficient. The kids can get in on it, make them. I think I'm gonna do one with Miles. I don't think the teenager's gonna join in. But you never know, sometimes he gets a little festive. I've always been into holidays. I've always found this kind of fun to find little projects. I always like to hang up the Christmas lights. I always like to put out the Halloween decorations. I would try to set up something in the, at my parents' house growing up to try to scare the little neighborhood kids. I always tried to come up with something just to get in on the holiday spirit. So here we go. I'm just gonna finish painting this up here and then we're gonna move on to the lights. I'm trying to learn how to YouTube better. So this is gonna be one of my first craft videos. I have so many more planned though. I hope this does, I don't care about the making money part, but I hope it entertains you guys and you guys aren't gonna leave comments telling me how awful I am because I'm just trying to have fun, trying to bring some little light to this world that seems so dark. Anyway, check him out. That's what I came up with for this first one I've ever done. I'm gonna probably try to get a little fancier in my other ones, but this is him. This is my jack-o'-lantern. Anyway, you take it off, take the top off, take your lights. Like I said, these are two or three dollars at Walmart. Pretty cheap little lights. I think they may even have some at the Dollar Tree. I don't know how well the version works. What you do is you put them in there and then they have like a six hour timer on there. You just pick which light pattern you want. Whether you want it flashing, steady. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim a little notch in the back so I can leave this out to turn it on and off as I like. So anyway, this is my first do-it-yourself Halloween project. You guys look for more in the future. I hope you guys like it. I love talking to you. Hope y'all having a great day. I love you. And 